Before we begin, I actually have a question for you guys that I want you people to answer for me. I want you in the comments down below to tell me what your favorite Roblox game is on the platform currently. The top response will be featured in the next video, so make sure to reply to that. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Salty, it's you! No, your fleshiness! Yes, it is me. It's squishy me. The reason why I'm actually having face cam on for this video when I normally have face cams on my streams only. Make sure to check out the description down below to check, check me out over on Twitch. I stream weekly over there. <laughs> it's because this is actually going to be a bit of a tutorial for all of you YouTubers and even Twitch streamers out there. Now, a lot of people have seen on a lot of thumbnails like thumbnails like right here, for example, some thumbnails that I've done in the past. They feature like really cool Roblox characters in the thumbnail. Lots of people have been wondering how to do it. And the way you can do that is by using three applications, all of which, believe it or not, are actually free. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that in today's episode. So to start off, you are going to need three applications. And yes, I use my pinky and all these other fingers. The first application you are going to need is Roblox Studio itself. The second application that you are going to need is Blender itself. And Blender, I think, at least a while ago, I know it had a standalone download link. However, I would recommend you install it from the third application, Steam, which if you're a PC gamer, you probably already have on your PC. So get those three applications, Roblox Studio, Blender, and Steam, and we can continue on from there. Okay, to start off, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to open up Roblox Studio itself. Depending on how good your PC is, it might take a minute or so to get started up, and in this very instance, I have an update. Let's freaking So once Roblox Studio actually comes up and the platform actually starts working as it's supposed to, all you're gonna wanna do is open up a new world or a previous world if you have worlds uh, made, or games, whatever they're called. And all you are going to do is you're going to want to open up the world, and press the play button. You can see it up here in the top right corner of the screen. Once you press play, you'll notice that your characters actually spawn in down here on the Explorer tab here. So once you have your character spawn in here, you are then gonna wanna open up the workspace thing. You're then going to want to select the Kimaria or your whatever your username is. In this case, my case, it's Kimaria. You're gonna wanna select this. You are going to right click it and then you're going to come down here and you're going to want to click export selection. It should be down here towards the bottom of the list. You click that and then it'll bring up a menu. You're just gonna wanna select somewhere on your PC where you wanna save your obj file for instance i'm actually going to save it directly to the desktop so i'm going to call it chimaria model but before i do that i'm actually going to go ahead and model my character a little bit so before i do that i'm actually going to copy my character model and then i'm going to click stop and then i'm going to right click and i'm going to press paste once you do that you'll notice that you'll have an exact copy of your avatar so you can change a bunch of things about it like for instance i'm actually going to change the name to space so we don't have that name there on top so in this part you're then going to want to actually animate the pose and move around the parts to give your character the pose that you want it to have in your thumbnail so once you get your roblox character in the pose that you want him to be you're then going to want to right click him then export selection and you want to get to export it to wherever you want your obj file to be exported to so once you export your roblox avatar you're going to want to remember where exactly you left the obj file because that's going to be important for when you open up blender which by the way is we're going to open up right now so once again i think blender has its own standalone install link for you to be able to go online to the website to be able to install it however i would recommend you actually get it from steam directly so you can see it here it's not that big of an install so you should be able to install it super easily. It takes maybe 100 megabytes on your hard drive, and it's really not that much. So once you get it installed, you're then going to want to open it up, either through Steam or the icon, if you have an icon on your homepage, like a lot of weirdos. All right, and here's where you're probably going to wonder, Salty, what the heck do I do on here? There's so many controls, I don't know what to do, man. And to that I say... Calm down. <laughs> I'll guide you through it. I got you, boo. I got you. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the square piece here because it probably started up a new um, a new project whenever you open up Blender for the first time. So you're going to want to click on the square and then you're going to want to right click on it and you're going to come down here to delete. You want that square gone or else it will actually impede in your snapshot unless you move it to a different spot, but it's just easier to delete it. Then once you do that, you're then going to want to come up here to the top left corner of the screen. You're going to want to click file and then you're gonna want to come down here to import as you can see it'll give you a couple different kinds of files that you can export into blender we are obviously going to focus on wavefront.obj so you're going to want to click on that one there and you will have a bunch of files come up and it'll basically bring up your directory for your hard drive so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remember where you saved your obj file and then you're going to want to go to the obj file and you're going to want to click it 
you're gonna want to import it as an obj and when you do that you will notice that hey your character is now in blender so you can do a bunch of things with it all you're going to want to do is to move this camera right here. If you click this button right here on the side, it'll say toggle the camera view. You can also turn it on by pressing numpad zero. And you'll notice that it isn't in the correct spot. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click camera. You're gonna wanna come over here to these location X, Y, Zs. And you're going to want to click and drag so that way your camera is facing right in front of your Roblox avatar and before long you'll notice that you have your character's face in frame this is your scene that you have right here one thing i would actually recommend doing is de coming up here and deleting the light but if you come up here you'll see that it has a light feature here you're going to want to click on that you're going to right click that and then you're going to want to come down here and delete it so once you do that you're then going to want to come up here to active tool and workspace settings sorry render properties my bad you're going to want to change the render encoder to cycles right here is about where you're almost ready to take the picture and use it as a thumbnail asset in your thumbnails but you need to do one thing before you do actually several things first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here to film and you're going to want to change the exposure to at least five you can change it obviously as you need to then once you are done with setting the exposure you're then going to want to go down a little bit more to transparent and you're going to right click this when you click on transparent this will give you the invisible background that you will have on your roblox character so you can use it in your assets basically right away you're then going to want to come up to the top here to the top left corner of the screen and you're going to want to click on render once you click on render you are then going to render image so as you can see my character is a little bit darker than what i would want to so i'll have to go back and re-render the image which is a nice thing even though this image is is rendered it's not necessarily saved yet so if you need to make any adjustments you can so you can do that several times if you have to so i'll be right back after i'm done editing the exposure a little bit and kind of tweaking with this to make sure that it's a little bit brighter than what it needs to be so apparently for my character to render correctly and to be the correct brightness that i needed i needed to up the exposure to 10. so you can basically go as high as you need to go but just make sure that it's not overly bright or too dark because then it'll just look ugly you want to get all the textures that you possibly can on your roblox character as much as you possibly can and i think with exposure 10 i got a good balance of that once you have your roblox avatars rendered you are then going to want to come up here to image and you're going to want to click save as and then just save it to whatever directory you have on your pc once you save it it'll then be saved onto your hard drive that you have i think it crashed on me though now as you can see this is actually an asset that i used in one of my thumbnails on a video that i made a long time ago and that was for my dungeon quest legends race video so if you guys want to check that out by the way there will be a link in the bubble i believe in the top right hand corner i think think right like right up here in fact but once you have this this is an asset that you can use inside of your thumbnails right away you can even use it as a profile picture if you wanted to which would be pretty cool all right ladies and gentlemen if you guys enjoyed this tutorial then you'll enjoy one of the videos that i have on screen right now make sure to click on it and check it out because i think you'll like it a lot but without further ado ladies and gentlemen that is the end thanks for watching and remember my salty crew i'll get salty you